attacking the microscope, look for the word up or an arrow which designates the top. Inside the box you'll find all the components you need for this microscope, which include the body, a head, a pair of eyepieces, a lighting module, a trinocular port, and various other accessories. Let's start with the body. The coarse focus is set by raising and lowering the focusing rack. Once it's in place, secure it by turning the rear locking knob. Now let's install the head. Simply slip the head into the collar on the focusing rack. The head can be rotated to suit your working conditions. Once in position, secure it by turning the collar's locking screw. Next we'll unscrew the lens cap to reveal the lenses. Now we'll move on to the eyepieces. Start by removing the dust caps on the eyepiece ports. Next, slip in each eyepiece. Now we'll attach the trinocular viewing port. Start by unscrewing the viewing port's dust cap. Then screw the trinocular port into the threaded opening. To attach a camera, simply remove the port's dust cap. Now we'll install the upper lighting module. Start by removing the locking screw. Insert the lighting module in the space behind the collar. Secure it with the light's locking screw. Then plug the power cord into the column's receptacle. Next, insert the main power cord and plug it into an AC outlet. Flip the power switch to enable the lights. The microscope has two switched dimmer knobs. The knob on the left controls the bottom lighting. The knob on the right controls the upper lighting. There is an adjustment knob on either side of the microscope to control your fine focus. The calibrated knobs on either side of the head control the zoom from 0.7 times to 4.5 times magnification. To adjust the focus tension on the SM2 series stereo microscope, look for the focus adjustment knob that says tension. While holding the opposite knob in place, turn the tension knob clockwise to increase the tension counterclockwise to decrease the tension. Be careful not to decrease the tension too much or the focusing rack will creep. Be sure that the tension is high enough to support the head and any accessories you've added. To adjust the distance between the eyepieces, simply take hold of each inner pupillary adjuster and gently pull them apart. While looking through the eyepieces, find a position that offers a comfortable field of view. On the SM2 series head, each ocular tube has a diopter for independent focus adjustment. Each ocular tube has a silver ring. The diopter must be set to just above that ring to maintain focus throughout the zoom range. To test the focus accuracy, focus on a test subject at low magnification, then move to the highest magnification to fine tune the focus point. Now move through the zoom range, making minor adjustments to the diopters as needed until focus is relatively consistent. Field of view is a measurement of the sample area that is visible through the microscope. Your eyepieces will be marked with two numbers. The first is the eyepiece's magnification. The second is the field number, which represents the eyepiece's field of view in millimeters. In cases where the objective lens produces an image circle smaller than the eyepiece's field number, that image circle will be the field of view. This US quarter is about 25 millimeters in diameter. With a field number of 20 at one times magnification, the field of view is 20 millimeters, which shows most of the coin. At two times magnification, the field of view is only 10 millimeters, showing a much smaller portion of the coin. And at four times, it's only five millimeters. With a fractional magnification, such as 0.5 times, the field of view is now 40 millimeters, which allows us to see the entire coin. The SM2 series head accepts a range of accessories. Among the most popular are Barlow lenses. These are auxiliary lenses that either increase or decrease the magnification by a set factor. Simple to install, 
They attach to the head's threaded lens port. The 0.5 Barlow lens will decrease the magnification by one half. The decreased magnification will require a larger working distance, so the focusing rack must be raised. The 2 times Barlow lens will double your magnification. The increased magnification will require a shorter working distance, so the focusing rack will need to be lowered. Another popular accessory is an LED ring light. The first step is to screw on a threaded adapter ring which will hold the ring light in place. The ring light will be attached by fitting over the adapter ring and then tightening three locking screws. Attach the power cord and we're ready to go. A ring light can also be attached to each of the Barlow lenses. The 0.5 times Barlow lens has a threaded port. Simply screw on the threaded adapter ring and then mount the ring light. The 2x Barlow lens has a mounting groove which allows the ring light to be mounted directly. 